Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having an awesome Friday. We're doing the trading recap today and I'm pretty satisfied with today and I'm pretty satisfied with this week. So um, ending Friday on a good day. So for me, it's I'm a happy camper, to be honest. Um, and honestly, this week, last week, and even the week before last week of October was was pretty good. So um, I've I've come back from some heavier losses and my trading's been a little bit better. It hasn't been perfect, but I've been working through it and I think performance is a little bit better. Uh, so I'm happy with that. And today was nonetheless, um, or was was good. So let's look at the performance real quick and then we'll go into the trades and the names. Uh, here we are today. And I'm actually ending today. This is be my quickest um, or earliest time to end out of any given day. And it's not necessarily like super early. It's 1.30, 1.30 here. So um, we're actually going out of town. We're going to go visit some family and um, we'll be back soon. But anyways, performance for today was solid because... Looking at these numbers here, for one, I never went red at any point. Starting the day off, first trade up 226 bucks. That's excellent. And from there, just all uphill. Um, my third trade was really great. Um, it was a little risky. I will show you that one. But uh, I made 416 bucks on that one trade. But I had three, 13 green trades and two red trades. So if you look at my losers here, they weren't necessarily that bad. This one was kind of big down 82 bucks on w wnw and then a ten dollar loser um, on the same name but anyways for me to only have 15 trades which isn't a lot and to be up 1300 bucks is solid so there's no point and um unless there's big opportunity there's no point in really continuing to trade because um you know i might just whittle that down even more and lose some profits. Um, I could gain a little extra, you never know, but um, I, I gotta go any, either way, so I don't really have a choice. But great performance today here today, 15 trades, that's picture perfect for me, so I'll take it. Uh, let's dive into the trades. Uh, first three trades, C-Y-T-O. I'll show you why this was a little, uh, a little risky for me, but it panned out all right. Um, on this, took my first trade, and um, it was a winner, okay? And so what happened, I wanna, I wanna make sure I'm, I'm, I'm telling you everything correctly here, because I did remember adding in. Okay, that was the second, looks like that was the second trade. Okay, yeah, first trade. Uh, let's see here, getting in, uh, started at 10, I started trading it around 10 o'clock when we had this curl up. So I was watching it, but um, realized we had this breakdown, we went past VWAP, and then it stabilized and then broke through. So I hopped in for some trades in here, getting in at 303 and then three bucks, uh, and then selling at 313. So great trade right there. And then what I realized on this was like, okay, here we are. We haven't retested the highs, but it's coming back up. And we hit this this kind of this top zone here, and it didn't look like it wanted to budge, and it did break down really fast, really hard, and so I thought the whole thing was completely over and it was going to sell off. And surprisingly enough, we had this absolute 100% correction from a complete sell off to an opposite reversal. And that told me, okay, that was just kind of a fake out then. And if we've already reclaimed we were where we were at previously in those candles, I think we've definitely got some movement to the high side or at least potential for it. So I started buying in. I started accumulating. I had a couple different rounds of shares. Um, I was buying in at 306, 302. 295, 295, and 285. And I, well, my idea here was that it, it was kind of forming this line here, and I knew it had potential to 
possibly break past it. Now, um, it was a riskier stock, and we knew just from this whole move here that this could really go hard in either direction. But uh, because we stabilized and we were kind of holding this line to a certain degree, um, I was adding in and adding in. And then the second, I was really looking for a break past um, kind of like 30, yeah, 305, like a huge flash. We didn't necessarily get that, but we did get um, a quick flash. And it was, it, was a, it was pretty much a fake out. But I was watching it intensely, and I sold my entire position right at that um, spot there. I got 307 on the fill, so I got the exact top of it as soon as it moved up. And I'm glad I did that because it came down real fast, real hard. And anyways, from that trade, because I had um, pretty big size at that point, that's how I got my my $400, $460 winner. So um, the tr the setup wasn't that perfect. Like it wasn't an excellent mover, but I just I was anticipating that breakout, and it it worked out. So. Um, I won with that, and the only reason it was really r risky in the sense that I knew it was yeah, pretty volatile and that the other part was that I had heavy share size because I had accumulated. So, um, you know, could have been a bad loser too. Anyways, uh, moving on, I moved over to, I had one trade on MRAM that had a, uh, a move up. It was only a $60 winner. And then the rest I just traded WNW. Now, WNW, this, I was interested in this one because um, I started trading it a little bit later in this zone here. And the reason I did that is because we had, this is kind of a similar stock to, uh, we've seen in the last couple of days, SOPA. What was the other one? The one I traded yesterday. Um, I think it was an IPO. I can't remember. Go back and look at the last video. I, remember, I don't recall the name, but um, it was kind of the, a, a similar move here. However, there was a catalyst to it um, where this, I don't see any news on this. So this was just probably kind of um, same kind of play with no news. So I don't think that's, I think that's why it didn't run as much. Uh, but if you, um, yeah. So right in here, you can see no volume all day long until we hit this area and it explodes goes into the halt. So we've got these halting stocks that do this whole move here. And I don't necessarily always trade this zone unless I'm, you know, pretty confident. I think I actually did. I just missed the move. I wasn't really watching this. The volume wasn't that huge. And so as it made its move, I saw later on that it made it. And then I was watching it after that, looking to see, okay, if it does curl, we might retest. And if, if, it looks like it blows past that, then we've got some much bigger moves on the way. So I started trading in here and um, really just doing a ton of scalp trades. And I was kind of expecting to come up here and kind of resist maybe a little bit. And it kind of did in this spot right here. So all the trades I had were pretty much all winners for the most part. There was one loser at the very end. It was only a $10 loser, but... Um, all throughout here, I traded this entire thing, this entire move, and I was just really impressed. It kept going and going and going, and I kind of felt a little bit of FOMO in the sense that I kept getting in and then selling. Um, I didn't realize it would move this high, but nonetheless, I had a, you know, they were all green trades. So, and um, a reason I like to do that too is sometimes when these get overextended, you do have a, a big drop down at some point. And you just don't know when that's coming. So um, either way, did some good trades on that and pretty happy with it. It looks like it's just kind of done for the day at this point. So um, that's where I'm sitting at. I'm sitting up 1300 bucks on the day. Very happy um, because I didn't have to do a lot of trades to get there. Um, last couple days, you know, I've taken like 50, 60 trades and, you know, gotten to 1800 bucks. So it was a lot less effort today. It was a lot, lot smoother. So yeah, um, here is the month ending the week with 52 last week was 45. So I'm sitting on a, on an awesome green streak here and I don't want to ruin it. Once again, I want to stay humbled because I've had big losers in the past, and they will wipe profits out really quick. 
October was no exception. I had a, a $7,000 loser here in one day and it wiped out so much profit. So, um, you know, uh, I did have a $3,000 loser on Tuesday here. So that wiped out a lot of profits and, um, I want to try to avoid those. The, I, I got to be realistic. You know, I might get one, two, three, four, who knows how many more red days. Um, just going to try to continue this green streak, do the best I can. And, um, just trying to do the best to, um, be like self-aware. I think tr with trading, there's a lot of self-awareness that you have to learn when, you'll get into trends where you realize you get into bad habits and you either over trade or you break rules. And if you can tell yourself, you know, to calm down and to step away from that stuff and to practice patience and only trade good setups. Um, that's honestly what I've, it's not that you have to be a wizard with numbers or anything like that to be a good trader. You have to practice a lot of self-discipline, I think. And, um, I am in no regards a, you know, a really good trader. Um, it's just a matter of, of taking an opportunity where I see it and trying to step away from, from bad habits. And uh, yeah, so um, I'll quit blab, blab, blabbling here. But um, anyways, I hope you guys had an excellent week. I hope you have an even greater weekend, and I hope you are crushing this month. Um, I sure am trying my best at this point, and I want to finish this month strong because I've had some months that weren't so great. Look at September here. A September was a negative month. That's horrible. October was only sixteen, so sixteen hundred. Um, this month is always looking way better, but I've got to stick to that and uh stay consistent with that that's my my goal there so anyways that's it for now take care see you on the next one